Also in his announcements today, Governor Cuomo says summer camps should plan on reopening this June. It wasn't a concrete announcement, but it is a go-ahead, an indication that summer camps will be able to reopen. So Jack Watson is at Camp Eastman and Ron quite with that story. Jack, you know, for parents, it's never too early to prepare for summer. This must be good news. That's right, Maureen. Uh, and, you know, this, like you said, it wasn't a concrete announcement. It was more of a go-ahead for them to start planning for June, at least. That is the plan right now. They are keeping track of this new variant of the disease, these several new variants of the disease, and whether those will affect the state's COVID course by June. But as of now, the state is still evaluating the situation. Camp Stopping Ground holds summer camp in Saratoga County. They are headquartered here in Rochester. They offered online camp this past year, management tells me. They'll be ready to bring things back offline and outside. We know that kids need camp more than ever this summer, that the it, camp is the perfect anecdote to the isolation and disconnection that we're all facing, but especially kids. Um, and I think baked into the program of, of summer camps is the social emotional learning and the making friends and solving problems and building resilience. Camp is is what we need right now and other places where kids can can play can uh, laugh can make friends uh, is, is what kids need and we're so excited we're so grateful that that Cuomo's taken the time to to keep us uh, keep us in the loop and, and give us some information this early and I want to stress one more time here that this is simply an indication that uh, camps can start planning right now. But as you can see, it is still very cold outside. The snow is still on the ground. At this point, we need to wait a few more months, see where the COVID course takes us for New York State, and wait for the weather to get about 60 degrees warmer. Live in Arondequoit, Jack Watson, News 8.